Okay, this is our first session, and our first session is about introduction and building connections. And one of our clients agreed uh, to put it in pictorial form, so you can see people hugging, people greeting, and uh, details introductions in the first session. And the second session, we wanted to just look at what people have gone through and just dig inside and see if there are nice things that they can remember, especially before the war. So Ilya came with a very dirty box and we didn't know what was inside until he told people to put their hand, she told people to put their hand in and see. And they were removed very nice things, they were sweets, they were chocolates and all nice things. So basically what we are trying to do with that is that just remembering the good times and the joys they had before we started in their country. And second session three, we were talking about self-regulation. That uh, sometimes when things are not working out for you, what can you do? And again, it's a thermometer. Sometimes we are down there, sometimes we are up there. This is where we need to, to be. And that's why we are calling it hali ya kawaida, meaning normalcy. So when you're down, what do you do? When you're up, what do you do? How do you maintain self-regulation? Session four, we were talking about silence, that silence sometimes is a tool of communication. And what we did is we wrote the name of the group, which is Tumaini Support Group, and we told them to write this using their body. And so they would do the T using their body, do the U using their body. And basically what we are saying is that you don't have to talk. Sometimes when you're silent, you are sending a message. So silence is not always bad. And uh, this is session five, and uh, what, the, what this is, is the, <clears throat> the story is about a boat that capsized, and this is a crocodile, and these guys are trying to get over here. And the value, it's a value lesson, and we are, because uh, in this group you see there are four people. One of them, the fiancé is the this one, so she's trying to close over to get to the fiancé. But one of the conditions is that she has to sleep with the man with the boat. And so the question is, are you going to sleep with this man or not? So eventually she decided I'll sleep with this man so that he can cross me over. And of course people judge that differently. We asked the group what they thought and everybody had different opinions. But it taught us very good lessons about forgiveness, about tolerance, about understanding circumstances that have made people do the things that they do. Session 6, we were talking about, uh, this is a beautiful flower that I'm bad. And uh, we were also trying to remember the nice moments that we have been through. It's not always, even now, as refugees, they have their ups and they have their downs, but sometimes it's just good to remember what are the nice things that are happening to you right now. So that was really important for them. And so we drew the rose flower and said, we just want to, to tell us the positive things. We cannot complain all the time. What are some of the positive things that have gone on in your life? And, uh, so, and that came out about the so this is and uh, we, were, we, were, we started talking about loss and grief. And the reason we are talking about loss and grief is because uh, people have lost a lot of things and we wanted to start the process of working with them. And it's, it's like a thorn in the flesh. And what we're asking is, when you have a thorn, what do you do? And there were different, there were different things that people were talking about. They were saying, you can either remove the thorn, which is painful, you can ignore it, and it but then what will happen? Some said probably you get gangrene and eventually your foot is going to be cut off. So what is the best thing to do is remove the phone despite the pain. And so that is why loss and grief is a very important process. Despite the fact that you're remembering very painful moments. But the question is, do you need to remember those moments? I say yes. Why? Because you need to start the healing process. So and we said also that uh, in the process there will be tears. And it's okay. We, we accept that as a process of healing. And they were very receptive to that. It turned out to be very well. In session eight, we were exploring the strength and resources within each person. And that's where we drew the human body. <coughs> and we are saying, we were telling them from head to toe, just be aware of what's going on around you. Be aware of the, all the gifts that God has given you. Some people like our client, the one who was doing this has very strong artistic skills and we have an authority in the team we have people who are leaders very sharp and so you know we, we were trying to bring out what else do you have your strengths what resources do you have and our ninth session is about dignity and value 
um, this is a tree like you can see, also skillfully done by one of our clients. And if you look at the roots, they are very strong, despite the fact that we have, the tree is almost dry. What came out in the group after they looked at this tree is that one, they still have very strong roots, despite the things that they are going through. Two, these branches could have been cut off by the enemy, but nature provides that there is going to be new life, and that's why you see flowers coming out. And uh, we asked them, what do you think you need so that this tree can grow again? They said, then you need fertilizer, you need rain. If there's no rain, you might water it. And so the question is, what can you do as a person so that this tree grows again, despite the fact that it has been cut down either by the enemy, the deaths that you have gone through. Some of them were saying that the leaves here uh, depict the problem that they have gone through. So, but there's hope. And that is the name of our group. It's called Tumaini. Tumaini means hope in Swahili. So they were saying there's still hope. And these small flowers here, there's a fruit and uh, there are leaves and nice things happening. So basically we are saying there is hope and they, they are great with us. And finally our 10th session was supposed to be today and this is what we want to discuss. Since we started, um, we need to say goodbye now because our session is over. But how has been your journey? And it starts with darkness like you can see and it goes, you know, being light. And again they are talking about light at the end of the tunnel, they are talking about hope, they are talking about uh, the things that they think will come up in their life and basically they are saying it's not over and what this group has also decided is that after our 10th session they will continue as a group, probably not to do uh, counseling sessions but to just get together and so that the future for them is brighter and it goes beyond CVT.